Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Goddard. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do a while structure inside Jeru, as well as how to put an if decision structure inside a while loop. Let's get started. Let's just go ahead and start off with our uh, uh, main method. So we're going to say method main, open parentheses, close parentheses, get some open brackets going there, and close brackets, and then we'll make a Jeru. Um, we'll call him Bob since it's easy to type in equals new Jeru and we'll just go ahead and go with the default location settings and all that stuff like that. Um, that's going to start off our Jeru here at location 00, zero. and we just want a very simple while loop. We want him uh, to hop all the way across uh, the island step by step, hop by hop, hop by hop, um, uh, all the way uh, as long as there's nothing in front of them, in front of him. So, as always, you want to go uh, when you're when you're looking things up. The language summary here under the help menu is a a great resource um, for things. And so we've got boolean methods, directions, um, control structures. So uh, if if else, and then the pretest while. So I'm going to look down here on the while statement to see what they have to say. So while, and then there's a condition, and then your loop body. So <clears throat> Um, I'm going to put uh, a, the word while, then parentheses, and then a condition, and then sort of uh, those brackets there. So uh, while, and then open parentheses. I'm not sure quite what that condition is going to be yet. And then I'll have my open bracket and my closed bracket. And inside here, um, the thing that we want our Drew to do is to hop. So we'll say bob.hop. Um, now our condition that we're wanting is we want to say while while there's nothing in front of him while uh, there's no obstacles there's no nets or anything like that so if I want to have some sort of condition I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to look at the different boolean methods uh, the different sometimes I call these sensor methods uh, the different things that the Jeru can detect um, these are some of those commands has flower is facing is flower is Jeru is net um, is water and is clear. In this case, the is clear um, is exactly what we want. Um, are there no obstacles, such as a net, a flower, a drew, or water, in the indicated direction? <clears throat> and uh, the type of information that they're going to want inside those parentheses is a relative direction. Um, if you're unsure what those are, we can just go up here, relative directions. Uh, we can put the words left, right, ahead, and here. So we'll slide back here and we'll say, uh, while Bob dot <clears throat> is clear, and then we've got those parentheses, and then uh, we saw those words that we can put left, right, ahead, and here. We'll say ahead, all caps. Uh, notice we've got a green parentheses there, um, which is highlighting the fact that we've got uh, uh, these parentheses are, are closed. They're they're matching. If I uh, move my mouse cursor over here, I can see this parentheses and that parentheses um, are matching so that's great so while it's clear ahead hop and I can click on the run button and if I typed everything in correctly I can keep tapping this button and he's going all the way across or I can run the program continuously <clears throat> and you can see he's hopping all the way across until finally he gets to the end and it's no longer clear ahead and so uh, he kicks out of that loop and he's on there. Um, just so you know what's going on here, uh, when we first run the program and that line is uh, executed, uh, the, the, the processor here is, is asking the question, is it clear ahead? And if that's true, then we're going into the while body, in which case we execute all of the lines of code inside these brackets, of which there happens to be just one. So hop. And so he'll hop. And then it loops back around here and then is asking the same question again. Is it clear ahead? Uh, that's our looping condition. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, clear ahead, so this is true. And so uh, the way a while statement works is that if there's a true condition here inside these big parentheses, then we're going into the while body. So again, it executes the hop command. And like I said, it'll continue. Eventually, it gets to the very end here. And um, it is no longer clear ahead. I'll see if I can pause it just at the right location. So pause, click, click, click. 
All right, uh, where the Drew is now located at 023, it is not clear ahead. So when Bob, b the, the statement Bob.is clear ahead is false. And so since the condition inside the while, uh, I sometimes call this the while header, uh, is since that condition is false, we do not go into the body. We kick out and we'll bypass all those brackets and come down here and execute any code that happens to be here. There isn't anything, it just goes to the closing bracket of the main method and then ends the program. All right, uh, so that's pretty good for a way of uh, just going all the way through here. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> Uh, maybe throw a couple of flowers in here. So we'll go and restart the program and let's add a couple flowers. Maybe two flowers there, three flowers, maybe one or two flowers there at the end. And um, if I run the program now, uh, he's going to stop right there at those flowers because uh, the is clear ahead command. Um, only works when there's absolutely nothing in front of him. Not a flower, not a drew, not water, not a net, nothing like that. So this is um, a little bit problematic because I do want him to go across and you know what, it'd be nice if he picked those flowers too. So uh, first thing I want to do is I actually want him to go all the way here until he hits water. So I thought I could say, oh, while um, maybe there's an, uh, there's an is water here or, or something like that. If I look over here on the Boolean methods is water. Is there water in the indicated direction? Yes, there is. Or sorry, uh, that that is a command. Is there water ahead? So I'll say while Bob dot is water ahead. But I'm like, wait a second. If I run this, <laughs> he doesn't do anything because if you remember, this while loop only executes when this command right here is um, is true. So when our Jeru is created, he looks ahead of him. Uh, is there water ahead? No. So this statement right here is false. False means kick out of the while loop, bypass it, in which case that means end the program. So this isn't good for us. We need to loop while there's not water ahead. And as it turns out, there is a specific command for not. So the, the way we're going to do that is we're going to put the not in front of the Drew name. Uh, their code example is uh, Kim. So while not Kim dot is water left, while there's not water on Kim's left. For us, we're going to say while not water ahead, and he's going to hop. And if I execute this, speeding up just a little bit, you can see he makes it all the way <coughs> there to the water, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. Now, uh, let's say along the way we want him to uh, pick any flowers uh, where he is. So uh, maybe before he hops, I want him to look and see if there's a flower right in the exact location where he is. So the way that we write an if, we'll go back here to the control structures. Uh, very similar to the while. You just say if and then parentheses and then there's a condition and then you have the brackets, open bracket and close bracket. So we can say if, and I'll leave that blank because I'm not really sure uh, what that's going to be just yet, but if there's a flower, <laughs> then bob.pick. So he'll pick the flower. I go back here, it needs to be a condition, and so that's back to the Boolean methods. Has flower is facing, is flower, oh, is there a flower in the, in the relative direction? Again, so I've got to put a relative direction in there. That means I could put left, right, ahead, and here. Here is what we want. Is there a flower here? So if Bob dot is flower, open parentheses, here. Let me get rid of these extra. Uh, just you know, pay extra close attention. You've got open and closed parentheses there. There should be another open and closed parentheses around that whole if uh, condition statement. And then slow it down a little bit. Um, each step along the way, he's going to be asking, is there a flower here? And if there is, he's going to pick it. And then he's going to hop. If there's not a flower, he won't pick it because there's nothing to pick. So each time he's going through here, not water head, not water head, is there a flower head? Or is there a flower here? If there is, pick. And then otherwise, hop. Uh, one more thing that we can do 
Um, so I'll edit this island file. Let's uh, reset the simulation. And I might add a couple of nets after he's picked some of those flowers. So uh, maybe if there's a net ahead, I want to uh, toss a flower onto it. So a uh, little bit of a micro challenge. You can try to uh, pa hit the pause button right here and try to disable that net. Or you could just keep watching the video. So um, after we're saying if there's a flower here, uh, pick it. And then I'll say if Bob dot, and I think there might be something like an is net. Let's go ahead and look. Boolean methods. Is net in the relative direction? Yep. Is net ahead? If there's a net ahead, Bob dot toss. If I run that, then we should uh, be able to make our way across, and when we come to the net, toss one of those seeds onto it. We'll speed it up, and there we go. Now, there is a little bit of a secret, um, and uh, that is if you only have one line inside your if, uh, for that matter, if you only have one side, uh, one, one, one executable line inside a uh, while, then you could actually delete the brackets and just have that single line, and everything would work just the same. Now, uh, the thing is, at least in the Drew environment, if you do a format, then it puts that line on the same uh, level as the if, which, which I don't really like. I prefer it to be tabbed in there. So in reality, what I, I recommend for my students to do is to put the brackets anyway. Even if it's just one line, at least that way in the future, if you end up having more lines that you want to add inside of this if uh, body block, then you could just go there and start typing uh, your extra lines of code without having to add them later on. So if I do put those brackets and do the formatting, then you can see uh, the Drew uh, code editor automatically tabs it in, which which is nice because we want to see that it's inside uh, this body. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That was how to write a while loop and then how to uh, write a while loop with a not statement, which is always going to be tri kind of tricky, and then how to put if statements. So now our Jeru is smarter. He's reacting to his world. He's uh, picking up flowers whenever he comes across them. He's uh, uh, disabling nets, and that's going to work no matter what uh, the island file is, assuming he has enough uh, you know, flowers. This, he could be, it could be lots of flowers and um, and even more nets, right? He's uh, he's he's very vers versatile now. <laughs> he um, he can react to his environment. So as long as he doesn't run out of flowers, um, he'll still be able to take care of that code all the way to the end. So this is uh, moving towards a smarter Drew. And uh, good luck to writing your own programs. We'll see you next time.